because I, I wanted to um, peel the proud flesh, mm -hmm. um, I let it dry. Usually about the second day it was ready to come off. Mm -hmm. And I just, where I don't, whatever edge was pulled up, I would just rip the whole thing off, take a dry, clean terry cloth towel, rub it all down till it got bloody again, mm -hmm. and then put the manuka honey back on it with the calendula in it, put the new uh, gauze on top, and clayed over top of it again. Every two days, changed it out, never washed it. To get that whole area closed, it took about a year. Mm -hmm. um, but from the staph infection to the um, clean granulated tissue, it took about uh, staph infection was gone in like two days, three days, and it granulated in in two days. Totally granulated in. It's a big crevice down the center of it that oozed pus all the time. That really made it difficult to get it right when it was being bandaged because that was just constantly oozing and making more nasty stuff to, to deal with. And I think that's why we you know, had such a trouble with the infection. Was, we couldn't let the air get to it and it was still just oozing all this mm -hmm. material out of this big deep crevice that you could stick your finger in that far. I had gloves because <laughs> it was so gross. Um, and I just put Manuka honey down in that crevice and just massaged each side of that crevice on the inside of it. And then it was able to um, drain because it was still open and then it had the, the um, clay on it that was drawing. The Manuka honey was really taking care of the infection and the staph. Um, the air was still able to get to it because the gauze could breathe and it just, I mean, that, that crevice just closed in like 10 days. It was in the dead of summer. I mean, we had flies and everything and we had no problems with the flies, you know, getting on it and causing more problems. The, the clay and the bandage was, there was no way the flies were gonna get into it. Um, and then when it did start to come off, we just peeled it and, um, I rubbed it with a terry cloth towel to kind of get the granulating tissue kind of cleaned up, whatever wanted to come off, and you know, got it nice and, and red and um, pink around the edges, and, and uh, it just really started to heal.